kind of from Smaugish, and as you can possibly see by my earrings and my antlers, this is a Christmassy video. Um, I just wanted to apologise, I haven't got any of the content up. I wanted to get up, but I've been very busy, and I wanted to get up something before Christmas to say hello. After Christmas, I'm going to be doing my favourites of 2018, and then sort of my, um, I guess, what am I... I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with words today. My sort of overview of 2018 and then my plans and hopes of 2019 and things like that. So that will be coming up after Christmas. Let's talk a bit about what Christmas is like in my family. So as you might know, I have fairly religious parents and come from quite a religious family. And so Christmas is a big deal in my house. Um, everything is decorated. I may even film and put in a little uh, few clips of the amount of decorations we have. I have my own little mini Christmas tree in my bedroom uh, which has got like bats and stuff on it. It's very cool even if I do say so myself. Uh, but yeah so Christmas is a big deal and we have a few traditions in my household like in my family. So one of the traditions which has been going for about six or seven years now is my mum and I go to Manchester every year around Christmas to do the markets and stuff. I vlogged this last year now I kind of half vlogged it this year uh, but I wasn't able to complete um, the vlog because as you'll see or as I'll, as, as I'll explain in a bit yeah I couldn't so I will insert the footage that I got from Manchester here yeah. Good yeah. morning, it that is Monday the 17th of December and as you can tell I am, uh, I'm actually in a lounge, I'm in the Virgin Trains lounge at Euston because it's the annual Manchester trip. This is the day of the annual Flanagan women take Manchester so um, I don't know if you can hear but I'm not actually very well but hopefully that won't stop the Christmas mood. Um, I have got my Christmas jumper here but I did it it's quite warm. Um, so the plan is today we've got a much later train than we normally have. Um, so our train's at like 20 to 11. So we'll get there about probably about 1 o'clock. Dump yeah. our stuff. We might be able to get into our room, might not anyway. Dump our luggage and we go straight to the Albert Square markets. Um, have some lunch. We always have uh, lunch in this um, Japanese noodly bar thing that's just in Chinatown which is on the way to Albert Square from our hotel. So yeah, I'm very excited and I'll see you probably on the train. So as you can see, we are off. I'm on the train. We've got a nice, uh, you know, like a table either side. Um, how are you feeling? Good. She's good. She doesn't want to be in it right now, but she's excited. And yeah, so we're off on the way. I'm going to finish reading the Jewel of Seven Stars, which I've nearly finished. Well, I haven't nearly finished, but I'm over halfway. I might never sleep. And then, yeah, so the next time I say hello, we will be in Manchester. Woohoo! I'm very excited, even though I'm poorly. And we have made it. Do you want to say hello, Mum? No, she does not yet. I will get her soon. Yeah, we've made it. We're in Manchester. We're just strolling along to go and find a cab and then dump our stuff and market it up. Yay! So we are in the Christmas market, Albert Square. I don't know, can you see? Ooh. Can you see it there? I'll show you the big Santa Claus in a minute. My mum's just gone to get something that apparently I can't be there for. So I'm assuming that means it's a brand for me. Yay, I'm wearing my Christmas jumper, feeling very Christmassy. And I've got some apple wine, some apple cidery refinement. It's warm in the cobbles. It's actually making me feel better. Medicinal properties of hot alcohol. I am proof. So, um, a couple of things. We've put a big order in. There's a lady that has a stall here. She does like wooden 
Christmas tree decorations and puzzles and games and stuff. But she personalises them, so she puts names on. So for the Christmas table this year, we're doing like everyone's name as up to their place. But then that's other little things to take away. So we've got 15 of those, which you know he said we'll come back later. She's like thank you, and I've also bought a little present for one of my cousin's little boys. So. Yeah, gonna enjoy my wine, then have another wonder, and yeah. I love this place, I've also Christmas Eve. I was feeling, because I'm a bit poorly, I wasn't necessarily feeling massively festive, but I am now. It feels like Christmas now, me and my mum have been doing this. We try to work out whether this is our sixth or seventh time, but yeah, now we've been doing it for quite a while. It, it feels like part of Christmas now. <laughs> Hello, still here. Oh, I didn't show you the Santa Claus. I'll show you that another time because I'm feeling a bit poorly, so we're having another sharing another mulled wine. Well, it's not really a mulled wine, is it? It's hot rum and mint. Is it actually mulled wine? Well, we, we take it from the. Uh, this is the chef here. We take it from the uh, traditional. Uh, are you videoing it? Yeah, oh, my right, YouTube. Yeah, we do sort of like a traditional mull wine. Here's the, the chef here. So traditional English mull wine. We See? cook it here ourselves. And then when we've got the traditional base, that's when we start to add different uh, things. Ah, so it's it's like mulled wine, but then you put the different things yeah, the in. So I, I'm, I'm mistaken. It is actually mulled wine. It's nice. If you come, this is rum and mint. What do you think? It's very nice. Yeah, it's good. So you're going to have this. And then go back to the hotel. Have a lie down. Hello. It is Tuesday the 18th. And um, if you can see, my makeup is a bit of a mess. Uh, because, um, well, I haven't vlogged before now. Because we went down to breakfast and then we, we hit Primark and Debenhams. <laughs> oh, excuse me. As you can hear, I've got very little voice today. Um, and then we came into the Armdale Centre because our tradition is we have lunch at the food court. My mum has KFC and I have Taco Bell without cheese or sour cream. Um, but I did the splits at the top of the escalators, even though I can't do the splits. So I cried from shock and, to be honest, pain, because if you suddenly do the splits when you can't do the splits, it does hurt. Um, so, And, you know bruised pride so I'm very stiff I'm finding it very hard to walk around but I can do it so we decided we deserved a little bubble break um, so yeah um, I've actually only a couple of things I've bought so far I've spent quite a lot of money but only a couple of the things that I've bought so far have actually been for myself so just Christmas, I just spend money because I like giving people presents. Do you want to say hello? She doesn't want to say hello. I will get her on the on the vlog at some point. Yeah. I'm going to carry on with the serious business that is shopping. So I'll check in with you later. Goodbye. So my mum and I had a really good time as always. But as you can probably hear, and I think I said, I wasn't very well. I think, fingers crossed, touch wood, I'm over it now. But yeah, I, I wasn't very well. I was quite poorly. So I couldn't quite enjoy it as I normally did because I was poorly. And I also kind of made a bit of an idiot out of myself in the Arndale Centre. If you know Manchester at all. Um, you'll know that to get up to the food court of the Arndale Centre um, you can come straight off the street like up the escalators straight off the street um, and my mum and I have our routine in Manchester and we have to go and have she has KFC I have Taco Bell and you know that's our that's our lunch break on our massive shopping trip so we went up the escalators and at the top I stepped off with my left foot and my left foot just kept on going and I did the split so right at the top of the Arndale escalators uh, and it was very embarrassing but two lovely sort of young men helped they brought over a chair for me to sit on stuff like that it was great but very embarrassing and I've wrenched my left thigh and absolutely smashed my knee I don't think anything's broken or anything like that but it's still intensely bruised still swollen still very tender to the touch yeah so that that wasn't great so that's partly why i didn't finish 
my vlogging in Manchester. I'm really sorry, like, do you get it when you're slightly warm? Because is it just me or is it really warm at the moment? Like, considering it's nearly Christmas, it's so warm. Anyway, so like just the bottom of my glasses are steaming up. Anyway, so yeah, that's why I didn't finish vlogging in Manchester. Some other traditions we have in my family, apart from the stupid amount of decorations. Um, we have kind of a meal on Christmas Eve. So that's gonna be tomorrow. We have ham, I have vegan ham, obviously. Um, and we get lottery tickets. And so we have a pretty chill Christmas Eve. And it's gonna be a very chill Christmas Eve this year because it's just gonna be me, my parents and my best friend who came to spend Christmas with us after my parents extended him an invitation. Cause otherwise he would pretty much have been alone. Um, Pete is going to be in Egypt for Christmas so that's why I'm not seeing him on the day he actually goes tomorrow which is Christmas Eve. Touch wood that there are no more issues with the drones. Um, something else we do Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve morning is we sing Christmas carols. Uh, there's a group of people from my parents church. We sing Christmas carols outside the local sort of butcher and shop and stuff. So when people are getting last minute veg, collecting their turkey or whatever it is, we sing Christmas carols. So that's always fun. I try and fit in some time to go and see some friends. My cello teachers, I've, I've mentioned them before. I always drop around presents for them and their daughter Isis. So that's Christmas Eve. Uh, we also have to watch the Muppets, like that's a given. That, that has to happen on Christmas Eve uh, and sing along to there's only one more sleep till Christmas. And then on Christmas day itself, it's a it's a pretty chill day. Well, I say it's a pretty chill day, it's not. We get up in the morning and we do stockings in the morning. So I do a stocking for my parents, one each for my parents. They've actually got these really awesome stockings that I might have to show you at some point, but they've got pictures of them on them. So we do stockings and then we go to church, which is, I don't mind, I'm not, I'm not Christian, but I actually quite like Christmas church because I love carols, I love singing them, so that's fine. So we go to church, and also I find if you like break up the day with different things, it elongates the day and it feels like it lasts longer. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, we go to church and then we come back from church. And when my when my dear Nan was alive, we used to have to wait for her to come over, to come round after church before we could open our main presents. And when I was a child, that was like, it was, it was only ever about 30 to 45 minutes, but that was the longest period of time of the whole year waiting to open my presents. Um, we still kind of do that now. We, we wait a bit to open the presents because again, it elongates the day. It makes it last longer. Um, we don't have lunch, so we don't eat Christmas dinner in the middle of the day. We just have like nibbles. Um, my dad normally does like blinis. So this year I'm gonna try and do vegan ones. I've made some vegan smoked salmon using carrots. Um, it's marinating downstairs. It actually looks pretty good. Haven't tried it yet. We'll report back with how well it goes. So yeah, um, we do that and then um, this is the first Christmas in a couple of years, but my parents have like the biggest house in the family. So everyone piles around our house. We're gonna have 15 at dinner this year. Everyone comes over and we eat about five, six o'clock um, in the evening. And then we have, we don't have starters. We go straight into the main event and we have desserts and cheese. I've got vegan cheese for my own cheese board this year. Yes, and I've got vegan Baileys. And then we might play a few silly games. And then Boxing Day, we have a typical sort of, I guess, Boxing Day buffet with like leftover Christmas food and the leftover ham from Christmas Eve. And my aunt's coming around and her husband this year. They're not coming on Christmas Day, they're coming on Boxing Day. We might see the cousins and stuff again. So yeah, it's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be hectic. Um, I don't know what my plans are for, for New Year yet, but there's time. Um, so yeah, that is, that is my Christmas. I've got a couple of my presents, um, like I got one from Pete, Pete and I exchanged presents before Christmas, so I sent him his, he posted, we like sent them to each other, um, um, but I won't show you anything until after Christmas when I do sort of like my what I got for Christmas video. So yeah, that is my Christmas. Um, like I said, I will be back after Christmas with my sort of 2018 retrospective, my favourites, all those kind of things. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I've found time to 
post this either today or I've uploaded it on Christmas Eve, which is tomorrow at the time of posting. I just wish you all an amazingly happy Christmas. God, you'll, whatever you celebrate, just have a great day. Even if you don't celebrate, have a great Tuesday. And I will see you in my next video. Now I'm off for another one of the Christmas traditions, which is a Christmas pub quiz because my dad is a pub quiz master of the village. That's where I'm gonna go. Goodbye.